All right, so we found out that our expected value was 250. So this is going to be our mu, right? Okay, so we're going to take 5 and subtract mu and then square it. So we're going to do 5 minus 250. Okay, so I'm going to go into my calculator. I'm going to say 5 minus 250, which obviously is 250. And then we're going to square it, which gives us 625. Okay, then we're going to take 3 minus 250. That's going to give us 0.5. And 0.5 squared obviously is 0.25. And then we've got negative 2 minus 250, which is going to give us negative 4.5. And then we're going to square it. Which is going to be positive, sorry, positive 20.25. Okay. So now we're going to take these little fractions that we got over here. And we're going to write them out here. Okay, so I would write them out in decimal form because it's going to make your life a little bit easier. So this is going to be 0.375 here, 0.375 here, and then that's going to be 0.25. Okay. Now we're going to multiply across, and then we're going to add them up. Okay, so multiply straight across. So go into my handy dandy calculator, 625 times 0.375. That's 2.375. I didn't read the rest of that. 2.34375. Yikes. All right, on the next one, you're going to take 0.25 times 0.375, and that's going to give you 0 0.09375. And then on the last one, 20.25 times 0.25, that's going to give you 5.0625. And I'm going to add all that junk together. All right, so when you add all this up, it's going to be 7.5. And then when you take the square root of 7.5, that's going to give you 2.738. Cool? Okay, so let's try the next one. So on this next one, we had where he's going to spend that 9,000, right? And, like, he's not going to recover the information. And then this is the one where he would get uh would recover right okay so then you made this lovely little chart and you did x minus mu squared and then the probability and then x minus mu squared times p of x okay so when you filled this in you went what was x oh i'm sorry what was mu it was 100 we didn't find mu on this one. Nope. So did you find, you haven't found mu on that one, right? So how would you go about doing that? Okay, so take a moment, plug that into your calculator. This is going to tell you your expected value, right? Nine thousand. So our expected value is nine thousand, right? Okay. All right. So if I take negative nine thousand plus nine thousand square it that's zero squared right huh good so that's negative eighteen thousand squared yikes this is a large number Three, two, four million. Okay. And then on the next one, you're going to take 153 
thousand minus nine thousand and then square that. And then square. It's gonna be real big. And then it's moving 10 decimal places. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yikes. Okay. And then the probabilities are going to go in here. I always change them to a decimal just because it makes my life easier. 0.888. I would say all the way out to four decimal places. Um, but it kind of depends on if it's a multiple choice question. Normally, if it's a short answer, it'll have better numbers than this. And 0.111. And so we're going to take each of these and multiply it out, and then that's going to give us these numbers over here. Okay, so we're going to get 324, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, times point. So you're going to get, let's simplify this. Two eight seven nine seven one two zero zero, and then for the other one, you're gonna get two zero seven three six one two three one two three times point one one, one one, which is gonna be two three zero oh, three seven six nine six zero zero. I'm adding those two things together, and this is where I would probably use my calculator to actually do all of this junk because this is no fun. So if I added all of this mess together, my variance is going to be 259174080, or it's going to be like 2.5e to the like 10th power or so. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Roughly 9. Now, if we take the square root of that, That's going to give me the standard deviation of 50,909.1426. And remember, we're dealing with money, so really we're going to round this to 0.14. Is that what y'all got? So on number three, what's going to happen is we've got probabilities, and we've got each of these. We've got 3,500, 2,500. 500 and minus a thousand and we have probabilities for each so we had 120 220 what was this one one fourth and then what was the probability of negative 1000 <laughs> All right, so check in your answers. Your standard deviation should have been um, 1,377.49, and then your variance is going to be 1,897,500. Again, these are probably not the best ones to do this on, but you can check your work through this, or you can use the TI-84, which I would use. All right.